Welcome, welcome, guys. So we're going to be streaming for a minute. I just want to chat it up about the uh, Analog NT Mini Noir, however you say that. One final poofu and run, right? Limited quantities at $499. Uh, this went up for pre-order what? Uh, the 28th? The 28th, so one, two, three, four, like you know, five days ago, four or five days ago, right? Um, and, well, it's still up for pre-order, right? So I just want to discuss a few things. Danny Skelling, what up? Appreciate you stopping in. This is just a little quick uh, live stream to chat, just talk, invent, and... Just, man, so much to talk about. So people have been asking me, did you pre-order one of these? Did you pre-order the NT Mini version 2, the Noir? The one final run. And yes, I did. And I have some, some annoyances, some grievances. But I'm still excited for this thing. It's over $500 with shipping. Um, man. So what I wanted to talk about, a couple things here. No, not that. Oh, yeah, that. So I did a video when these guys hit me up about, hey, there's this change. We got some change going on. This change.org petition uh, to get another run of the NT Mini and how Analog did address it. Like, hey, if you get to 1,000, if you get to 1,000, we'll produce one final run. I'm calling shenanigans just like I did in my video, even though it was like, you know what, I'll sign this petition. Um, that's, that's what it was. But this is this change.org and... Analog riding along with it. Um, it's just all marketing. That's all it is. I don't care what anybody says. This change.org petition, admirable. To, you know, over 2,500 people signed it. I did a video on it, advertised it, was skeptical. Um, this change.org didn't cause this to happen. Analog was already planning to do this. Because, I mean... They, this is like a version two. They have all this stuff going on for it. Some changes with it. It, it. Regardless of the change petition or anything with that, it doesn't matter if the change petition did cause this to occur or not. It, it doesn't matter. It's just all irrelevant. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, to me, it was just all a big marketing thing. They, they, they just played along with it. Like I said, they, they knew they were going to build this damn thing. So why not? I'm just surprised. It's still up for pre-order. If all these people really wanted one, I don't think they're ordering it because it's expensive as hell. Um, the thing is, I still have this, this gut feeling. 500 cheeseburgers, that's right. I still have this gut feeling, uh, my friends, that Analog's going to produce a cheaper version. Maybe with just an NES cart slot, and then like they're going to do that boo-boo-ness with, hey, you could buy a Famicom adapter that only fits in our system. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll do a plastic version just like this at that $189, you know, $200 price point, whatever, to match like the Super NT um, and the Mega SG. Thick Sword, what up? Quincy Walls, what up? Appreciate all you guys stopping in. Keenan Williamson, what up, man? Um, but I'm, I'm for sure they're going to do a plastic love version. 500 bones for this thing. I pre ordered one um, and I'm annoyed that I pre ordered it for a couple reasons. I sold some stuff in order to, to, to afford it, so it was kind of a wash. Typically with stuff like this, because it was kind of hard to justify. This went up, and I was like, dude, $500. I know I said I wanted one, but I just got my top loader modded by Dragon's Horde Gaming. Um, and that thing is it's original hardware with HDMI. does pretty much the same thing as this, but it's original hardware. So I was, I was real hesitant. I didn't order it right when it went up, and I was awake. As soon as they announced it, boom, and it was like... I even hesitated retweeting or doing anything. So I was like, man, this is going to sell out. But I said I wanted one. Should I order one? And I started thinking, okay, I have this extra NES system. Not the, the modded one, but I have an extra um, top loader. I have a handful of games. I have these other systems. I think I could sell this stuff and, and make up the, the, the price for this. So let me, I'll just order it. Fuck it, right? I, I made back so far from the stuff that I sold Profit wise, I've made back about $300. So I still, you know, I, to, to cover the cost of this, I got to sell a few more things. That's typically what I do uh, with big purchases like that. I'll try to liquidate some things, right? To justify the cost. So it doesn't feel like I'm, you know, 
like it's coming out of pocket, even though it, it, it is one way or another, right? Um, so I made the call and said, fuck it, I'm going to order it. Now, the problem um, is that these guys, man, so they, they advertise, you know, they're proudly in Seattle, they're a Seattle company, um, all that stuff. And it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. You go to their Twitter, uh, it says they're in the USA. Uh, you look at certain things, um, as far as digging into their, their privacy or not privacy, but, um, uh, what you call it, like terms and conditions, uh, if you need to get arbitration, it says their companies in Seattle, Analog and Cherry Street and all that stuff, right? Um, so they, they're always saying we're a Seattle company, but they're not. These mofos are not. Christopher Tabor, the guy who uh, owns this company, he doesn't even live in the U.S. Um, he's, he's, you know, he was born in the U.S., but he moved to Hong Kong. I wasn't really aware of that at first. Um, if you take a look at his personal website, Hello, I'm, and you might be asking why I'm bringing this up. I'm going to point this out in a second. It's the only reason I'm really annoyed, um, but I'm still going with it. It's not like I'm going to ask for a refund. I don't even know if they do refunds. I'm not really tripping too much, but it was an annoyance when I seen this happen because a lot of people are bitching about this, and I'm kind of bitching about it too, but I'm, I'm just a little annoyed, a little annoyed. I think I put that in my title. I'm a little annoyed because I don't want people saying clickbait, Clickbait, you're, you're acting like you're crazy angry and you're annoyed. No, I'm just a little annoyed, just a little bit, and I'm going to point that out in a second. But his personal website, hello, I'm Christopher. I'm from Chicago, but I live in Hong Kong. I founded and run the company called Analog. Cool. I, I, didn't, I didn't really know this guy was living in Hong Kong. It doesn't matter where he lives at all, but his company is in Seattle, but he lives in Hong Kong. Okay. Um, his LinkedIn says he's in Hong Kong. Uh, you can go to his LinkedIn and, and go through everything. His, his LinkedIn doesn't really, um, explain everything that he's into here because it says he's uh, the CEO and founder of analog. But I also found out that he is the, um, chief marketing officer for eight bit do or eight bit do. Um, I don't know how many people know that, <laughs> um, or if he's still in that position, I'm pretty damn sure he is, but he's, as far as last year, there were articles where he, you know, was interviewed and was like, yeah, I'm the chief marketing officer for uh, 8 Bitdo. 8 Bitdo. Whatever, however you want to call it. I don't give a shit, right? So he's chief marketing, whatever. Um, he works with 8 Bitdo. That's why they're, you know, always paired up. Their website's always showing, um, you know, like, hey, like even the, the Noir, it comes with the new version of the, uh, the N30, the 2.4 gigahertz. Which is cool, man. Can't wait to get that. Um, but but to, to, to get back to what I was talking about here, my annoyance comes into to this right here. And a lot of people are pointing this out. International transaction fee caused by the charge from uh, analog, right? <laughs> so I got charged a $15.70 fee. Um, a little annoying. A little annoying. Uh other people have pointed this out too. Some people as low as like $5, some people $10. In the grand scheme of things, $15.70 compared to the $520 something dollars with shipping is it's not a huge deal. But when I seen that just pop up, it says it was on the 28th when I ordered, but it just showed up like yesterday um, on my bank account. I bank with uh, Bank of America. So, I mean, I guess every bank's going to be different. This isn't a charge from analog, this is a fee from your bank. Some people aren't getting them. Some people are. And it's damn annoying, man. When you just get slapped with boom. Uh. <coughs> uh. I won't have to pay duties at my door, man. This thing will be shipped from within the, the U S <coughs> I won't get, I won't get charged. I've never been charged duties for anything, but, um, I know a lot of you guys have, which is freaking annoying. What up? Uh, level on level one online. I'm over here choking. Um, so <laughs> he's out there in Hong Kong. His banking is in Hong Kong. The prices are listed in freaking U.S. dollars. You pre-order this damn thing. You're thinking, okay, this company's in Seattle. I'm paying a Seattle company, but you're not. You're paying a, a, a Hong Kong company, and your <laughs> your your freaking uh, your bank may see that. Okay, well, you're, you're paying money to them. Even though I don't understand, like, how is it an international transaction fee? 
whatever. Choking on that fee. I'm choking on it, man. Um, but so, so that's where it's at. If, if, if you really dig into this, the two main guys to analog live in Hong Kong. Yeah, that's what, that's what we said. Smoke monster. That's what we said. Um, but you, you may or may not get taxed with that. Um, Mr. Dwadi 84. I don't know why you buying this. If you have a mister, because I don't use my mister to play games on mostly, to be honest with you. I play my games on hardware for the most part. I love messing around with Mr., but a lot of people, um, we, uh, we like to play on hardware. I, I, I was bringing that up earlier. I, I have an original hardware that I like to game on, but I like the analog stuff as well. Um, Mr. is a backup plan for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I go broke, if uh, shit hits the fan, Mr. is there to save the day. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to talk about the AVS in a second. I have an AVS. It's amazing. But you got to be a crazy mofo. There are people out there who are selling the previous version of this, thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars $3,000. Freaking nuts, man. Um, cool system. It's like, it, it, it's it's a high-end NES. It's it's neat. It's interesting. Um, a lot of options. There are more options than the, the AVS. But with NES... Do you really need that many options? I paid for it. I bought it. The one thing I do want to say with that damn international fee <laughs> is one of the reasons I'm not tripping too much, even though I'm a little annoyed. Like I said, it's not clickbait. Just a little annoyed. Just a little. Um, is it, I'm not tripping too much with this $15 because since it was like a Hong Kong transaction, we didn't pay tax. We didn't pay tax. So I'm like, okay. I'm I'm not tripping, man. I'm not tripping too much here. Um, so there's that. I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, Chris, he's in he's in Hong Kong. Companies banking in Hong Kong. They're doing all that stuff. Five hundred dollars, expensive ass system. If you just joined us, I explained why I bought it and how I'm covering the cost of this thing. But just like level one online over here, this this little mofo I'm talking about the AVS. I already got this queued up, bro. The AVS, we're going to talk about Mr. 2 a little bit, but um, yeah, I always, when people say, why don't you do Mr., why don't you do um, RetroPie, why don't you emulate, when somebody says that they like to play on hardware, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, if somebody's like, I want to play my carts on a system, of course, that's what they're going to want to play on. I love Mr., I love RetroPie, and I actually have content coming up for both of those, but you got to calm down. You got to calm down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um. But for those who do want to play cartridges, like the video that I uploaded earlier today, <clears throat> I was talking about cartridges, my collection. I don't have a huge collection, just stuff that I want to play. And here's the thing. I showed like most of my NES games, but I also have a freaking, I have two EverDrives. Oh shit, I almost dropped, dropped one of these games. I have like a, a the Famicom EverDrive N8 Pro, and then I have a normal N8, the NES one. Um, I could load up whatever games I want, right? But I like when it's a game I actually want to play. I like to use the uh, uh, the actual cartridge for the most part. Um, but you guys know we cover everything on here, man. So 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 that's where we're at. But another option, if you are into like higher end, higher end FPGA clone systems, <laughs> James, careful. To, people know I'm joking around, man. I'm not busting anybody's balls here. Um, but if you're into higher-end stuff and you want to play NES carts or Famicom carts on an FPGA system, uh, the AVS is an option. I have one. It's amazing. Four controller ports. Um, really has that NES look and feel to it, even though it's different, right? Um, so 185 bucks. If like When I looked at this with shipping, it's still under $200. You don't get hit with the crazy shipping charges that uh, Analog does. So this is an option. Um, I do live in California, whoever asked. I live in California. Um, the AVS from Retro USB. 720p, doesn't do 1080, doesn't have as many options as the analog. Um, HDMI, that's it. The, the analog NT Mini and the Noir, they have multiple output options. So you have a lot of, a lot of stuff you could do with that. Uh, this is completely plastic, whereas the Mini Noir is what? Like some kind of... Um, crazy 
metal, <laughs> aluminum or something. I don't know. Um, what is it? It's metal, right? Yeah, the, the Analog 8 will most likely be the budget version of the NC Mini. That's what I'm thinking, but can't say for sure. Um, so the AVS, 185 bucks, less than 200 shipped, at least for me it would be. I don't know if the shipping's different everywhere. Plastic system does essentially the same thing. Built-in um, Game Shark leaderboard stuff if you hook it up to your computer. You, you got all that. It's pretty cool. Uh, just not as many options as the NT. So there's that. I highly recommend it as well. I have one, uh, which kind of makes it like, why, why do I need the NT Mini uh, Noir uh, when I have the top loader <laughs> all pimped out? I have the AVS. And I'm choking here, man. I'm choking on that, that damn fee. I'm spending $500 on it level one online so I can go to like a convention and smash it in front of a bunch of people. Now, I'm not going to do none of that. <laughs> um, but this is definitely a great option. What does it say right here? Due to custom problems in Germany. Oh crap. All if you if you order this and you're in Germany, um, you're only getting the console. <laughs> so there's that. But that is an option. Now, if you don't give a crap about cartridges, <laughs> Mr. is an option as well. We've covered Mr. I have a Mr. playlist on my channel. So for those who are like, I don't know why you would get this. Get Mr. instead. Man, I cover everything, dude. I cover everything. Um, but I do have a Mr. playlist if you check out my channel. Um, Mr. is amazing. Tons of course. It's it's not just like, uh, you know, kind of held down by what Analog wants to do. Uh, Mr. is just open, open source. People just making cores, doing all sorts of stuff. A uh, lot of cool things you could do with that. So definitely recommend Mr. If you're into higher end, I mean, it's kind of like, it sounds snobbish and I don't like coming off like that because there's a lot of elitists in the retro gaming community who think their opinions, yeah, their opinions, they're not facts, uh, who think their opinions are, you know, the end all be all, holier than now type shit. So I don't really want to sound like that. But as far as like cycle accurate, um, where it feels like you're playing on the console, even though you're not, Mr. is definitely... Um, a, a good option. It's a great option. Uh, you can't, you can't really, you can't really knock it. I mean, it's always being updated. There's a lot of cool things going on for it. A lot of new stuff going on out there. Um, it's a great option if you just want to play some games and have that, like I said, that cycle accurate, that that <laughs> that console feel without actually having a console. But then the other option um, is for the people who don't want to spend a shit ton of money just to play some retro games um <laughs> who who don't want to who don't want to like buy cartridges who don't want to get into FPGA gaming buy a raspberry pi <laughs> buy a raspberry pi that's it man $35 $35 for just a raspberry pi 3b plus you can get a raspberry pi 4 there's a lot of stuff going on with that either way you go um if you just want to game and have a dedicated system get a Raspberry Pi and emulate these games. There's absolutely nothing wrong with emulation. Anybody who says there is, is out of their damn mind because it, it's, it's fun. It's the same thing. My only problem with emulation, I've brought this up in the past, is getting overwhelmed. It's just the kind of person I am, man. It's like Netflix. If I'm sitting, at net, if I'm sitting on Netflix and I don't have something dead set in my mind, I'm going to spend more time looking around trying to find something to watch than actually watching something. That's what happens to me with emulation options. And I get kind of overwhelmed. Like, what do I want to play? If I'm not dead set, like I'm going to play this, I kind of get stuck. And I just, I'm browsing more than I'm playing. And I don't really like that. Um, so, so that's the only issue for me. But that's why I would make like Raspberry Pi images, retro Pi images, where it was just, just the stuff that I want to play. Like, almost like, hey, if this was a collection I was going to own, that's 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 the collection. I'm not gonna have every release game and then just wander through it. So uh, that's the one thing I like to do with emulation options. But there's options out there, man. You want to play a freaking NES game? You play Super Nintendo games? You play Sega Genesis games? You don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to do so. You want to revisit your childhood? There's options out there at every like like you you know what I'm saying? Every price level. 
It's like if you were if you were hungry and you wanted like a burger, you can go you can go pay a dollar and get like a double cheeseburger from Burger King. That shit's gonna satisfy your hunger and it's gonna be okay. You can you can say you know what? Forget Burger King and their value you know items. I'm gonna go to Carl's Jr. or Hardee's and spend like eight dollars for like a, a, a third pound burger with freaking bacon and whatever, right? You get a little step up, little step up, gonna satisfy your hunger. You can go down the, you know, another step up. You go to Red Robin or some other like higher end fancy place and spend like fifty dollars on a fucking burger. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's a fucking burger, right? <laughs> so it's the same thing with gaming. I don't really care. <laughs> Five hundred dollars to play Action Fifty Two and Ten Eighty. Not every price level, at least not a great... I think that's a great option at every price level. Nothing wrong with any of the options. Just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Burgers, right? <laughs> Red Robin. I haven't been to Red Robin in a while. Um, they like... I don't know if it's a California thing. <laughs> or if it's a, like an everywhere thing. But they used to do... I'd be like, hey, I want my burger medium well. And they would make it that way. Now it's like, oh, it's either pink or no pink. And I'm like, no, I want it medium well. And they're like, no, it's pink or no pink. And it's not just Red Robin. It's everywhere. I'm like, what? Pink or no pink? <laughs> I'm like, you guys are out of your mind. I want it medium well. Tell the freaking, tell, tell the cook to make it medium well, right? And they were like, I had, the last time I went to Red Robin, it was a couple years ago. I just got so annoyed. I was like, fuck it. Because I would go like get a free, uh, a free burger. On my birthday, right? My birthday month. Um, and I would go at my, you know, I still spend money. It's just I was getting a burger for free. And everybody else, I was paying for them to eat. Um, and I told them, like, they served it to me. It was completely wrong. And I was like, I was like, what the hell? Right? So I tell them, like, man, this isn't right, dude. Can, can you fix this or not? Like, you know, I don't want to make a big deal about it. But they're like, all right. And because there's something else wrong with it, too. They fixed it and they brought it back and they cut my burger in half. Motherfucker, you don't cut my burger in half. They cut my burger in half because the cook didn't know what he was doing. And he cut it in half so he could see if it was cooked properly. You don't do that. I'm not a child. Don't cut my burger in half, all right? Damn. <laughs> so so I just stopped going. I was like, dude, this is redonks, man. Um, this is this is ridiculous. I stopped going, but yeah, whatever. Now we're talking about burgers, right? <laughs> um, Fuddruckers. Mike B brought up Fuddruckers. There's one Fuddruckers that's kind of near me. And oh my God, I go there. I feel like I'm going to die after I eat at that place. Power Glove Pixels. Do I have the Neo Geo, the analog made? No, I do not. No desire. It's neat, but no desire. I had an argument. I mean, not an argument, but a little bit. <laughs> A little bit. You don't cut burgers in half, man, unless you're a child. Appreciate the uh, the subscription there, Pete, man. Um, but there, there there was a there was another um, restaurant I went to, and they did that to my kid's burger. But they did it like it was weird because I I'm not like I try not to be like, hey, um, no pickles, no this, no that. Especially like one of my sons doesn't want pickles, so it's like. Lambo Calrissian, appreciate that, man. $25 fire stick plus OG cable plus USB drive for Emmys, whatever your option is, man. Um, <laughs> but they did that, not like the bun and everything, but just the meat. They cut it in half on my kid's burger, and the patty was thin, man. And they cut it in half to check if it was, it was obvious. They cut it in half to check if it was cooked, right, while it was on the uh, flat grill or whatever they cooked it on. Um, and I guess... The cook dropped half of the patty, so he just said fuck it and left it where it was just half of the patty on the bun. So I wouldn't have noticed that, but like I said, I, I like my kids, oh, I don't want pickles. Well, I'm not going to ask. I'll just take the pickles off when it gets here, right? So I take his, his burger, and I, I take the bun off, and I, I'm going to take the pickles. So I'm like, where the fuck's half of the burger, right? And it was just so obvious. They cut it in half. I brought it to the, the manager lady. I was like, hey, like, what's up with this? Like, did they eat half his burger? I was just joking about it. Like, they ate half his burger or what? Um, <laughs> and the, she she apologized and she came, she brought another burger out to, to my son. And she told me, oh, the cook cut it in half. 
that's how I know. And she told me the whole story. He cut it in half to check, and he dropped it and figured it'd be all right. And I'm like, what? Like, you don't, first off, you don't cut, like, a th- even a thin burger. Come on, man. A, a thin burger. You, you, you don't know how to cook a thin-ass burger for a child? <laughs> I'm like, that, that, that shows that your cooks don't know what they're doing. That's what I told her. But, you know, she was nice. She was real cool with me. But I was just kind of half-joking. I don't, I, don't, I don't get out there like, I, can I see the manager? Like, I didn't even ask to see the manager. I just went up and was like, hey, like, half of the burger's gone. Did they eat it? <laughs> I mean, he dropped it. Good thing he didn't put it on there, right? <laughs> it was freaking nuts, dude. It was actually Farmer Boys, which is kind of a, it's a fast food, but kind of a not fast food. Pretty good place. Um, but that was, that was crazy. <laughs> I didn't go full Karen, man. I typically don't, unless you really piss me off. I typically don't. <laughs> just but hey it is what it is so so is this a burger chat now we're talking about burgers best place for burgers for me which i haven't been to in a long time is fat burger oh my god fat burger is freaking delicious (laughs) ain't no denying that fat burger is great five guys is good too but five guys ain't got nothing on fat burger Fuddruckers is good too, Mario. Uh, Mario Mania. There's only one Fuddruckers. I just remember from what was the idiocracy? Fuddruckers became butt buggers, right? <laughs> Did you check emulation VR yet? No, I have not. I haven't had time. Analog NT Burger SG Deluxe. That's what I'm talking about with some extra cheese. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, there's not a ton of great burger places out here. Um, not to me anyway. Um, hot dog places. We got Pink's. Pink's is freaking amazing. You can buy how many burgers you can buy for the price of one NT mini? A freaking lot. Like a lot, dude. <laughs> I've never been to the habit. The habit's been popping up all over the place. I haven't been there. I have a flat grill. Um I always like cooking burgers on a flat grill, but I also like cooking like carne asada and and like, you know, chicken and stuff like that on a flat grill. So I bought a flat grill. I have a nice flat grill. I'll go outside and uh, grill some burgers on that bitch every once in a while. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Dixon, Seattle. What? You can buy a McDonald's franchise for the price of an NT mini. Man, forget that noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dominic Roca, yo, MLP, Mad Little Pixel, Famicom AV plus HD on my mod plus NES to Famicom converter plus EverDrive any first gen plus Framemeister O or OSSC equals NT Mini plus tons of 8 bit cores and SD card. What? <laughs> okay. Are you saying it's like the same price or, or what? It's a very similar price if you do all that, I would think. Travis Stamper, yeah, we were talking about analog and like gaming options, retro USB AVS. Uh, these guys charge, I mean, it's not analog, they're not charging a transaction fee, it's your bank that's charging it. But you, you get slapped uh, $15.70, man, just out of nowhere. Like I said, a little annoyed, not a huge deal, I don't really care, but I just wanted to clear some of that stuff up. The owner of analog, he lives in Hong Kong. Their banking is in Hong Kong. Um, just to recap what we we're talking about, change.org, build another run of the analog NT Mini. This change petition had absolutely nothing to do with analog's decision. Analog just played along with it. Free marketing, that's the way it goes. Um, and I kind of said that's what my suspicion was. But that's how it is. Uh, somebody brought up sh- uh, Steak and Shake. It's sad to see what's been going on with Steak and Shake. You know, Steak and Shake, they advertise. Okay, they had a Steak and Shake near me but it closed down i went there once through the drive through by myself and i was like dude this is pretty good that's not too bad so i wanted to go back another time so maybe like a couple months later i went back with my kids um and we went inside to sit down and nobody ever served us like they were just all rude i was like what the hell's wrong with this place i'm like forget this noise like we sat there forever and i left um and then like a while later they closed it down but steak and shake i seen like not too long ago, they were like, hey, 
If you got $10,000, if you got $10,000, we'll open a, a stake and shake for you. Like your own little, uh, 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 franchise and we'll guarantee you a, a six figure salary for so long or whatever. Right. And I'm just like, yeah, this is, these guys are not in good shape, man. These guys, uh, are not in good shape, shape. Let me see what, uh, 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 uh. I asked this on Twitter, but what would happen if you used a visa gift card? They can't charge that again. Once the funds are used, I would imagine it probably wouldn't even go through if you used the visa gift card. A lot of, a lot of times companies like you can't use them. I guess it just depends on what it is. Damn little fly. I've never checked out rallies or checkers. I don't know if there's any of them around me. Analog does put out, um, Carla Acosta analog puts out great products. There's no denying that this was just like a little bit of a, a little venting <laughs> NT mini worth it for the extra Kevtris course. I, I believe so as well. Um, in a sense, but I also believe they're going to put out a cheaper version at some time. Super Nintendo. See, some people are getting charged. It just depends on your bank. That's all it, that's all it depends on. Depends on your bank. But I am really looking forward to these 2.4 gigahertz controllers. So nice that it comes with one. It's like a $25 value. <laughs> El Carbon uh, tacos from Del Taco. Those are not that good, man. Or Wendy's four for four meal. You can't, you can't go wrong. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday, bro. Go to Baker's and get some tacos. I like the, the tacos at Baker's. Um, I mean, they're not really legit. Mexican tacos, but they're all right. Do you ever think we'll see a PS1 FPGA from analog? Probably not for a while. Anything's possible. Due to the big C, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure I know what you're saying. Will it arrive in July? I think they have it all, all figured out. I think it will. Chef Dave. This man right here knows what he's talking about. Del Taco fries are the best fast food fries, hands down. I say that all the time. It's true. And not everybody who's watching this knows who the hell Del Taco is, but Del Taco and their crinkle cut fries are amazeballs, man. Baker's chili cheese fries are pretty good too, but as far as just basic fries, holy crap, man. Love me some street corn. I do too, man. Shit's bomb. Grilled chicken tacos at Del Taco are the bomb. Yeah, they, they, they are. Del Taco is a pretty good place. Cheap too. Cheap. If you got a Del Taco and you just want like get a half pound bean and cheese burrito with green or red sauce, ask for them to make it bold. And they put French fries and they put um, their little secret white sauce in there. That the stuff that they put on the chicken tacos, pretty damn good, man. So you guys are making me hungry talking about all this food. <laughs> um, well, Sean Rios, will you be using NT Mini with HDMI or RGB? I'll be using it with HDMI mostly, but I will test it out with RGB. Um, Grim Billy, I sold my NT Mini over the summer in anticipation of a cheaper version. I still think it'll come eventually. I think so, too. I think so, too. I'm trying to keep up on chat. We kind of talked about everything. Best fries were McDonald's in the 80s when they used to fry them in beef tallow. I don't remember that. I just know that I hate McDonald's, and I do not patronize their... their, their um. Their establishments. <laughs> I, I just, I don't go to McDonald's. I can't stand them. Exolotl, they could do one without the Famicom port. I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to make a plastic NT, the NT8 most likely, without a Famicom port and like maybe ship it with a, a Famicom adapter. This Famicom adapter can't be that expensive um, or sell it later. What about in and out Jeremy, Luke, and in and out is the biggest overhyped burger place in the world. I have lived in California since 1989, my friends, and I've lived right down the street from an in and out for like 10 years. I live like, I mean, there's in and outs all over the place. First up, In-N-Out, the worst French fries in the world. 
the worst. The French fries are horrible. Man. Their fries are crap. I hate them. Their burgers are good. Now, their burgers, if you get a double-double, um, it's the same thing as getting a double baker from Baker's. Tastes the same. <laughs> it looks the same, right? Um, the same fucking burger in, 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 in the end. <laughs> in the end, it's the same burger. Now, now, in and out the nice thing with In-N-Out, though, they're overhyped. Fat Burger's greater than, than any other burger place out here, in my opinion. In-N-Out's good, though, because you can get a double-double, or, yeah, a double-double, a soda, um, and fries for, like, seven bucks. Um, cheap, man. Cheap. In-N-Out's cheap. Their prices are, are nice. So, if you're hungry, like, there's an In-N-Out by um, the casino uh, <clears throat> there's an there's an in and out uh, past the casino or is it before the casino? There's an in and out by what is the casino that's down this way? Morongo, Morongo Casino. There's an in and out over there, and it's open like late, and it's got a huge inside. You can go in there if you got like seven bucks, you just want a meal, go for it. But there's just so many better burger places, man. But level one online, real talk. If you had a food review channel, I'd subscribe. I just like, I'm already as fat as it is. Um, I love food, but I just was like, I've thought about that too. Like, man, do some food reviews, especially when I did that naked chicken chalupa video with my daughter. And it was, I mean, it was just stupid video, but I thought it was hilarious. Still makes me freaking laugh to this day. Oh my God. It was just so dumb that we did that video. But I always thought like, man, doing like some food review videos would be cool. Especially, you know, just kind of busting balls and having a little sense of humor. Um, but I just like, man, and then I'm going to force myself to go out all the time. <laughs> Forget it. Sal Mac, best burgers are muff burgers. Oh, snap. For some people, maybe. <laughs> Rally's and Checkers um, and Arby's frozen french fries at the supermarket. Fresher and crisper than the real deal. I've seen those, but I haven't had them. Do gaming and food pairing views <laughs> i didn't think you were gonna indecision i didn't think you were gonna order an nt mini i didn't think i was too at first i was like because i missed out on it before when it was like 450 bucks the price went up because it was like 450 bucks the last time um and i hesitated because like i said i got that top loader that dragon sword gaming modded for me um it was a little expensive. You know, I bought the, 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 the top loader. I tried to find one that was clean and I paid him to do the work. So it was a little pricey, but that kind of quelled the, uh, the desire. Like, I don't really need this. I have a real NES that plays through HDMI. Boom. But I, 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 I just, like I said earlier in this, uh, this stream, I looked at it and was like, you know what? I, I wanted one before. Um, it's very expensive, very hard to justify the price for me. But then I looked, okay, I have these extra consoles. I have this, I have this. Let me sell this stuff. Um, let me compute in my mind what I can realistically get. And if I can cover this or cover like 80% of this, which is kind of where I'm at right now, um, I'll buy it. So I did the math. I looked at everything. Okay, I'll sell this. Like I want to, I'll sell things and not regret it. Like, okay, I have this as extra. I don't need this. I had an extra top loader, uh, games. I had another system, uh, a few other things like, okay, I could sell all these things and cover the cost and I'm sure I'll sell them. And I'm looking like, okay, after fees and all that, fine, cool. So I did it. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Um, Brad DL, I'm not really mad, but we discussed it. I'm selling an uh, XRGB mini for sale because I bought my my mini. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that, man. You're you're buying this expensive. It's like, is it? Do I buy this or do I buy the PS5? What am I going to get more use out of? And, and honestly, I hate to say it, I'd probably get more use out of this than the PS5, but maybe not. I use my PS4 a lot, so maybe I would would get more use. But it's, I mean, you're looking at like this plays NES games. The PS5 is going to be around this price and plays current gen games and the you know latest technology. This is using you know current technology to emulate something from over 30 years ago. 
or not, you know, simulate whatever you want to say. Um, so that was kind of a tough call, man. It was a tough call. Indecision. If the analog pocket is really good, I might have to sell my handhelds. That's kind of like, that's where I'm at too, man. Like, holy crap, dude. I am looking forward to that, but shit. Are you considering selling your modded top loader? No, I am not. No, I'm not. It's kind of hard to justify having both, don't you think? No. No, it's not. Well, here's the thing. I have a modified top loader with HDMI, and then I have an a AV Famicom. I'm probably going to sell the AV Famicom. The AV Famicom's uh, high def modded as well. I may have to sell that. That'll, co that'll cover more than half of this, essentially. What am I going to mod next? A Game Gear, most likely. Um, I'm considering it anyway. I want to get a, a, a Game Gear. Um, I have a Game Gear, but it, it needs uh, some refurbishments. Um, but I want to get a Game Gear like completely refurbished, VGA out with the, the McWill uh, screen, all that good stuff. That might be next. I don't know. I'm considering also as well because I'm looking at like consoles that I have um, that I don't play. My Sega Saturn. My Sega Saturn. It's 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 in a it's in a it's it's stashed away. Has the Raya. I have all the the wireless controllers from Retrobit for it. I have a 3D pad. Like I said, I have the Raya installed, and I don't use it. I don't use it. It just sits there. That's probably a cool, like, 500 bucks right there, I, I would think. I mean, I don't know. Um, are you still trying to get a VC? I was never trying to get a VCS. Not getting a VCS. The Sega Saturn, here's the thing. I had a Sega Saturn around the time when it came out, when I was, when I was a kid. Um, and I enjoyed it until the PlayStation, <laughs> until I got a PlayStation. And it was like, forget this noise. Um, but I did enjoy a lot of the stuff on the, the, the Saturn. I like the Dreamcast more than the Saturn um, for whatever reason. But the Saturn, I just don't play it anymore, man. Yeah, I'm not getting a VCS. There's no way. That's the other thing I'm considering selling because that was an impulse buy for me is the Virtual Boy. I have a Virtual Boy um, that I got a pretty good deal on. I just bought a handful of games for it. I'm considering selling that because... I mean, now we're talking about thinning out collections and stuff. I don't need a Virtual Boy. If I want to play Virtual Boy games, I'll play them on my Oculus uh, uh, Quest or I'll play them on RetroPie. I mean, I don't need a Virtual Boy. A Virtual Boy is annoying, annoying as heck unless you get it. Unless you get it consolized, then that would be amazing. I'm, I'm, I probably will. I'm probably going to post my Virtual Boy on eBay tonight or tomorrow. Like, I just, I don't, I don't need my Virtual Boy. It's pointless. Um... That's a dumb thing for me. I don't need it. Best fighting games on the Saturn, hands down. I agree with that, man. Especially the pad. The Saturn pad is amazing. I know I'm saying I'm considering selling my Saturn. Um, and it's only because I don't play it. But I haven't done it yet because I don't want to regret it. You know what I mean? I don't want to regret it. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But the Virtual Boy, like I said, that was like the biggest impulse buy for me because it was like like an auction I bid on um, and I got it for a reasonable price. Like not necessarily complete in the box. I don't have the insert. I don't think, or maybe I do. I don't know, but I have the box and the manual and everything in like pristine shape and the original um, like charger battery pack, all that stuff. Um, all that good stuff. Retro gamer, Andy, um, if I'm going to sell stuff posted on my Facebook group, if it's a big thing, <laughs> Um, I probably wouldn't do it on the Facebook group. I would probably just sell it on eBay. Dragon Sword Gaming about to trade off about 2,000 games. Tired of living like a hoarder. Damn, Dragon Sword. Appreciate you stopping in, man. We've been mentioning you quite a bit um, for, for modding that top loader. Um, do I have Jack Bros? I have Jack Bros brand new in the box, but it's a Japanese version. I've never opened it. It's brand new in the box. Friggle D. See, that's the thing. It's like I'm kind of hesitant on that. Kind of hesitant on that. And Dwayne Hurst, appreciate you stopping in. You're the opposite. You're in a retro console buying binge. I'm on a narrowing down binge. <laughs> like, I mean, 
I had multiples of some systems, and I wound up getting rid of them just because there's no reason to have multiples. I get in a mentality sometime, and it's a bad one, I think. Um, maybe it's not bad. If you can afford it, I guess. Who cares? But it's not that I can't afford it. But occasionally, you would come up on good deals. But like, I would look at it like, oh, if I have two of the same system, if one stops working, I have a backup. That's like hoarder status, I think. I think you get, you're getting close to hoarder status. I think you're getting close to hoarder status if you do that. So I stopped doing that and I, I sold like doubles of shit. James Kas Kasusnik. I don't know how much virtual boys go for. I have to look into that. Andrew Wenling. Virtual boy is even better. Not in 3D. Yeah, I mean, the 3D is cool, but it's not that big a deal. <sighs> a PS4 is going to be retro once the PS5 is released. <laughs> a backup life. That's what I'm talking about. PS4 is going to be retro. The PS4, I'll finally start playing most of my PS4 games by the time the PS5 comes out. Do your kids play the Garma gamers? Do your kids play uh, your retro systems? Occasionally. Occasionally. Um, Mr. Dwadi, 84, you could also sell Hyperkin stuff. Um, I've gotten rid of all of my Hyperkin stuff. I, I, I had multiples of their clone systems. Um, and I was like, like the different color variants. And I had them all like lined up on a shelf over here and I don't use them. I don't use them. So the Hyperkin stuff I've reviewed and I was very honest with my reviews. A lot of them I bought myself. Um, always honest with that stuff but yeah i've i've sold off all the hyperkin consoles except for one except for one the one hyperkin console that i did not sell oh actually no i'm lying i'm 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 lying out my ass i didn't sell two hyperkin consoles um one of them i didn't sell was the retron 77 um i don't share my my ebay name because what happens is I, i've had like i've bought some from stuff from people on ebay um, and like, for some reason they'll find out it's me and then they'll like send me extra stuff. And I don't want that. Like, I don't, I don't like people. Oh, you're mad little pixel. I'm going to, oh, so cool. And like, it's like, damn, how did you figure this out? I mean, I know how they figured it out, but, um, they would like send me extra stuff. And it's like, dude, I don't, I don't want them doing that. I just want to buy like what they have to sell. Right. Um, and then like, there's just other reasons too, beside that, but Back to the Hyperkin stuff. I have my Retron 77, which I do enjoy. I think it's a cool system. It's an emulation system. Um, but I do think that's that's pretty cool. Um, and then the other system that I still have just for like, I don't know, this weird semi-fake nostalgia. Um, just because it's one of the, the things that got me back into, kind of got me back into retro gaming is the Retron 5. Um so I still have this and I actually use it. That's why it was sitting right next to me. I used it the other day for a few things. Um, any updates in the at games lawsuits? I do have some information on that. Um, the only problem I haven't been doing videos on that stuff lately because people haven't been watching them when I have done videos on it, but I'm going to consider it. I'm going to consider it. Someone posted tw on Twitter that the poly mega trademark was abandoned. I'm going to have to look into that, man. Um, Dominic Roca, do you still use your retro bit retrocade and your super retro trio? As far as clone systems go, I still have my super retro trio, the plus. Um, I think it's a, a, an okay system. It's a clone system. Uh, I have that. My kids use it occasionally. Um, and then the super retrocade, I still have it and I still use it occasionally. I'm actually going to be using it in a test video coming up pretty soon. Um, which is kind of a, a YouTuber thing. I have like a new capture card and I want to test it with the Retrocade because like I have an internal Elgato. Like I got rid of all my capture cards, which was a mistake. Um, Andrew Wendling, appreciate you stopping in. Got to eat dinner with the family. I got to as well soon. Um, probably go for like 10 minutes and then I got to get out of here. Um, what was I saying? See, now I lost my train of thought because I was addressing a, a, a comment there. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting some kind of dementia or something. I'm losing my freaking mind. The Super Retrocade. That's what we're talking about. Capture cards. I had multiple capture cards. I had like an HD60, HD60S, 
um, an Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Like I was getting these over time, and I was finding like they all had different compatibilities. Um, they all had different ca- compatibilities with certain things. Like, and some of it was like, and the HD, like the original HD Elgato, like all of them had different capabilities. So it was like they all were useful to me in one way or another. But then um, I was like, you know what? I got an internal HD, like Elgato, whatever. And I just stuck with that and it worked for everything I was doing for like six months or so. Um, no issues for the most part. So I got rid of the other capture cards, sold them, just got rid of them, covered the cost. Like I said earlier, a lot of times I'll do that, cover the cost by selling something I'm not using. So covered the cost, got rid of those. And then I started finding things that weren't working. Super Retrocade, uh, like you'll lose audio, you'll lose, uh, uh, <laughs> you'll lose, uh, video occasionally with this capture card stuff like that so i have this new capture card i'm going to test with super retrocade and i'm going to test if you watched my video on the um the retro tink 2x pro um i had brought up like hey the uh scan lines i can't capture scan lines if i plug this in um through my elgato internal card bring up obs put in scan lines it becomes a mess mike chi explained to me Whatever reason, I don't remember what it was. I brought it up in that video, but he explained like, yeah, certain capture cards, um, they're going to do this color, whatever, um, compression, correction. I don't freaking remember what he had told me, but he told me something, um, explained it. And he said, some capture card's going to do that and it's going to cause a mess. Um, But if you're not using a capture card, plug straight to a TV, it just, it it works. You have no issue. And I didn't have an issue with that. So this is another thing. I want to test with this other capture card to see if it works because there's a lot of capture cards that you can use that with. So I'm going to be doing that in the very near future. Jason, Steven, appreciate the subscription. Uh, Poly Mega name is abandoned. I don't understand. What are you guys talking about? Poly Mega? Poly Mega is abandoned. Oh my God. I got to look into what you guys are talking about. Huh? Poly Mega trademark Poly. So did they like, what do you mean? What's going on? I'm following Poly Mega. I don't see anything going on. Like, what's going on, man? What's going on with Poly Mega? What are you guys talking about? You should do a, a, a video on the Retro 2X SCART. Do you use SCART at all? I don't use SCART. I got rid of all my SCART stuff. I do. I still, um, I still have some of uh, SCART cables, but I don't use them for anything. Poly Mega hasn't tweeted in a while. Yeah, that's what I just pulled them up. I guess I could have pulled them up on this screen. Let me see. Their last tweet. Their last tweet was February 21st. That wasn't that long ago. I mean, that was, that was like a couple weeks ago. I, we did a, like a big old rant about the Poly Mega a few streams ago. Poly Mega is poly lying. <laughs> I don't know the story, but poly, I mean, what's going on with Poly Mega? Oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting congested here. And just added me. Added me where? Uh-huh. Are you talking to me, bro? <clears throat> I don't see no addings. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I I got your link. I got your link. (sighs) 
Polymark trade abandoned. What? I mean, I wouldn't read into that too much, I guess, but. Hold on, I'm going to pull it up on the, uh, let me pull it up over here. There we go. What, what is going on with this, this trademark? that Super Nintendo sent me. A statement of use filed, huh? So, so Super Nintendo sent me this link, um, Polymega trademark details, abandoned, no statement of use filed. They have all the information, just says no statement of use filed. They didn't file anything. What's going on here? Did Polymega get busted trying to use RetroArch 2? They couldn't have because they haven't released the system yet. What's going on here? Huh? You know what? Oh, let me, let me grab screenshot from over here. Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, let's get them. Let's get them. Let me go ahead and, um, Pull up my thumbnail that I worked on earlier. <laughs> you guys are, we're getting, um, <laughs> we're, we're getting it all together here. Yes, I use paint.net for all my thumbnails. Even though I do pay for Adobe, uh, whatever, um, I haven't learned it yet, but for, for the longest time I've used paint.net. <coughs> so I'm, I'm really comfortable using this. They should take a polygraph. Man, I got to clean up my desktop here. <laughs> Paint.net is legit. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're doing this live. We're tweeting, talking shit live. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to buy the trademark and put out information about it. What? <laughs> well, what's going on with Polymega, man? <laughs> oh, that's freaking hilarious. <sighs> Polymega. The AVS is better value for the money. The AVS is definitely great value. I mean, their website's all up. They just, I mean, there's just something going on with their, their freaking trademark. I'm sure they'll get it straightened up. But... Yeah, that that is what it is. They're opening up another round of orders. <laughs> Smoke Monster. That's right. They're opening up another round of pre-orders to cover the trademark. They got to they got to get the fees together to cover the trademark. Whatever happened with the N64 add-on? Didn't they beat that goal? What's going on with these guys? And King Arcade's going to be an interesting year ahead for Mister. It's been an interesting like every day with Mister. Definitely. The Mr. is also better value for money than the analog NT Mini. Um, if you're looking at as far as like games to play, yeah, of course. But if, if you know, just to up to your preference, man. Like, you know, I know it's pretty harsh earlier, but it's the truth. There's no right or wrong answers. Game however the hell you want. Um, if you like cartridges, there's options. If you want to emulate, there's options. If you want to use Mr., have that cycle accuracy, boom. You got options. Mister is amazing for sure. 
I got to do a video on Mr. I got the damn blister for Mr. And I hate it. And I've been meaning to do a video on that um, for a while. Dragon Sword Gaming can't stick my cart into Mr. There's a few things you can't stick into Mr. Cartridges aren't the only thing. But Mr.'s still pretty cool. But I, I, I mean, I like to mess around with Mr., but I also like my um, original cartridges. Ermi, did you, you're asking me if I pre ordered the TurboGrafx 16 Mini. Yes, I did. Um, yes, I did. We'll have to, we're going to wait and see on that. We're going to be doing uh, videos on that when it comes up. Have you seen the Atari Flashback X? It's small now, like the rest of the mini consoles. I've seen the box of it, but I didn't know it was small. But Mr. will lick almost anything you put in its face. But yeah, the Mr. I have to do a video on Blister because I freaking hate it. Um, I really don't like Blister. I've been meaning to take it off and put my USB hub back on there because I hate Blister. It's 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 freaking. <clears throat> you can just get a normal Bliss box, and it's less of a freaking spaghetti monster mess. With all these damn cables and nonsense. I I don't I don't like I don't like the Blister. I don't like blister. <laughs> I like just having a USB hub on there. I'm fine with that. I'm that's another. I'm gonna take that blister off and sell it and get rid of that damn thing. The other thing was like a hundred bucks. Freaking stupid, man. I wish I never bought that damn thing. Um, multi gun game, man. What up? Sup, Vato? What up, Sigma Gamer? Um, but yeah, we got to do a video on that. We got to do a video on blister so I can explain why I don't like it. So I do have a bliss box. I have all the attachments. I think I have some of the attachments sitting over here somewhere. But I have all the attachments for Bliss uh, Bliss Box, all the controller attachments. It's cool. It's cool. But I would like. I just don't like the the blister attachment. If I'm going to use any of that stuff, I'll just use the Bliss Box. Just looks nicer, and I can just use you know USB cable uh, controllers if I so choose. Sigma Gamer, appreciate that, man. If the AVS was 1080, I would get that. That's the one thing for some people is 720p versus the NT 1080. Um, it's 1080 overkill. In my opinion, it's not necessary. 720 looks great for 240p content. Roscoe Garcia, why are you a little annoyed? I mean, we talked about that probably like a half hour ago. I was just a little annoyed. I talked about this earlier, um, the Hong Kong bullshit with um, the international transaction fees transaction fees um do i vape for no i do not no i do not 15 dollars and 70 cents i said i'm just a little annoyed but i wanted to explain why some people are like this is a front to evade taxes i don't know from what i understand chris Tabor, um he went out to hong kong at some point and he was like he was like dude hong kong is legit and he liked it, so he stayed out there. Like, he moved out there. Um, so, I don't know that's necessarily evading taxes. I, I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but he's out there. Uh, he works with 8-Bit Do. Do. 8-Bit Do. 8-Bit Poo. Whatever. Chief Marketing Officer. Whatever. Unless he's no longer in that position. But as far as, like, interviews with him from last year, he was. Uh, so he's out there in Hong Kong handling business. The banking's going through in Hong Kong because he's out there. He's the owner of the company. And it's not analog charging that damn transaction fee. It's your bank. And my bank was like, you know what? They s slapped my ass, punched me in the back of the head, charged me $15.70. That's it. Just a little annoyed. A little annoyed. I mean, I wish, and some people have pointed out that they wish they would kind of mention that when you're ordering stuff from these guys. Like, hey, uh, we bank, I mean, but would they really, like, a little asterisk on there. We bank in Hong Kong. The owners in Hong Kong, you may get charged an international transaction fee from your bank. It's not from us. It's from your bank. Um, so be wary. I mean, they, would they really put that? Um, would they address it? I don't think they would address it. I don't think they give a shit because they know people will buy their stuff anyway. Um, will you be doing a TurboGrafx-16 mini review? Yes, I will. I will review it as soon as I get it, but I'm not in good with most companies. Uh, so I don't get stuff early for the most part. Um, unless it's a distribution company that's cool with me um, and they, they decide they want to send me like a sample or something. Um, but yeah, most companies don't, don't like me. 
um, don't want to bother with me. Some people do. Um, but most companies that like Konami or whoever's going to distribute that, um, they're not going to send me one early for review. They don't even, they're not aware of me. They'll be like, this is the motherfucker who's going to show people how to add games to this later on. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll review it once I get it, which will probably be around the day that it comes out. Right. The director, what up, man? A lot of us are on the fence on that one. Cheers from Guadalajara, Mexico. Appreciate uh, you coming in, Hugo. But yeah, there we go. Is the, the TG16 Mini is really sold out? Indecision is the bank fee. It's for the, the NT Mini. Um, the controllers, you, you order the controllers separately from uh, from uh, Amazon. You're not ordering it from them. Um, um, people say the turbo graphics, I would have a, a suspicion that if it's, oh, wow, they do have a bundle right here where you can, oh, why would you get the Neo Geo mini? Answer me this. Why would you get the Neo Geo mini with a turbo graphics 16 controller for 165 bucks? How does that make sense? And it's going to be released on March 19th. How is that? How does that make sense? But yeah, I have a suspicion though that it's unavailable probably because of the, um, how is there a rating already? How the hell do you rate this when it's not even out? We're going to have to look at that rating in a second. I have a suspicion that it's not that it's sold out because I think they did, um, I think they did pre-orders exclusively through Amazon so they would know how many to produce. Um, I think right now they probably are like, shit, with that CV, you know, the, the, the co whatever, um, whatever's going on out there, people getting sick. I don't want to say all that stuff because in my video will get banished, like my other video that I mentioned it. But I think with that going on in China, they probably like, we don't know if we're going to have to delay this. Steve Walker, appreciate the subscription. I think that's what's going on here is that they don't know if they're going to have to delay this. The beer flu. There you go. That's one way to say it. Um, so I think they might have made this unavailable just because they, they don't know with that, that beer going on out there. Um, I have mine pre-ordered. I'm not logged in. Um, I'm using the incognito tab here. Amazon dot co dot uk um no i don't i don't want to i don't want to log in here either um let me see if theirs is sold out no they're still uh, exclusive to amazon their core graphics so maybe it is kyrick new fan love your content appreciate that man really do appreciate that um, but Amazon UK, they still have the core graphics for pre-order released March releases, March 19th. I have mine, um, <laughs> Martin Schmidt. That's messed up, man. Um, I have one of these pre-ordered as well. I'm not, I'm, I might not keep it though, because it's the same games twisted. Appreciate you stopping in, man. I'm doing good. Um, I have this pre-ordered, but I've been thinking of canceling it because I just have store credit on there, just gift card credit um, on that. And I kind of, I'm like thinking of getting something else. I'm going to have the Turbo Graphics Mini anyway in the same system. But then I have a Core Graphics and I think it would be kind of cool to have a mini one, even though it's already mini. I don't know. I'm glad, James Generic Game Channel. <laughs> I'm glad the N32.4 resembles the NES controller. See the... um. I'll turn my ringer off. Why is my phone flipping out? Um, the 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 N30. I mean, the N30 has been out for a while. Um, I have an N30, the Bluetooth one, right here. But I I, I can't wait for the 2.4 gigahertz. I really like this controller over the previous NES one that they did with the diamond layout. I can't stand it, and that controller felt cheap. The plastic it, it was like thin and weird. This is solid. This is great. I love this controller. They're old. Their previous version with the diamond layout. I hated that controller. I think it was garbage. That was just me, though. Maybe some people liked it. 
I didn't like it, but the N30, I love it. And I cannot wait for those 2.4 gigahertz controllers to come out. Um, really can't wait. The Michelob, yeah, forget that noise, man. The director, you had a free flash drive delivered from China. You know what? I got some free, like, blue. I don't know why, like, just out of nowhere. Like, some company was like, hey, thanks for reviewing our product. And I never reviewed their product. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell they're talking about. But they sent me a, um, they sent me, like, some Bluetooth headphones. I'm like, man, I'm not going to use this shit. Core graphics look schmexy. I, I think so. I love it. I have a core graphics um, that I use with the uh, Turret Onion uh, Super System SD. Top loaded gaming. Yeah, the the NT Mini Noir, the final run, $500, man. Let's sell your, sell your, um, sell your, your soul for that. Dolly Ramariski. I probably screwed up your name. This channel makes my balls quiver. That's what I'm talking. If I can make your balls like Quiver, I mean, success, right? It's kind of weird, dude. Why would you say something like that? <laughs> uh, Kyrick, you pre-ordered the SF30 2.4. I pre-ordered them before I posted. Because what happens is, is there's been times, oh my God. Um, I, I know some people do like, I, I see I'm getting off track indecision. I know some people like the diamond shape because then they can go cross and it feels better. I prefer it like this. That's just me. Um, but before I posted the, the, the SF30, the NES one, the N30, I pre-ordered mine first because what's happened to me before is like I'll post the link to something and it'll freaking sell out. Like um, the GPI cases, I would post the link like, boom, guys, because everybody was going crazy for those for a while. Boom. Pre-order. Like you can order them. They're, they're, they're up. But I wouldn't like order it yet. I'd post it and then I'd go order it. And like after I post, I post like on my community tab on Twitter and Facebook or whatever. By the time I posted everywhere, I would go to order mine. They were sold out already. I'm like, son of a bitch. So I find whenever it's something I'm going to post the link to, like to give people a heads up, I only give a heads up on stuff I'm interested in. I think you guys will be interested in. Um, I always order first before I post the link just in case, man. Just in case I've screwed myself too many times. Chris Perez, if you could read this, you don't need glasses. Now, if I take off my glasses, I can't read any of that. <sighs> Seriously. Um, Megatron is a Japanese version of the Turbo Graphics, which is going to be the PC, uh, just the PC engine like Europe. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Europe is getting the core graphics, which I don't understand. Like Europe, they got like very limited. I'm pretty sure they got the Turbo Graphics 16, like how we did, like back in the day. Um, but very limited anyway. But in Europe, they're getting the core graphics. That's theirs. In the US, North America, we're getting the Turbo Graphics 16. In Japan, um, they're getting all three of them. They're getting all three of them. I'm pretty damn sure. Where's the uh, English? Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Um, mm. Like they're getting they're getting all three of them. I'm pretty sure they have a. Uh, a page like a dedicated page on here for these, but they're getting all three of them in Japan. Um, the core graphics, the PC engine and the turbo graphics. So I kind of, I'm like, damn, that's crazy, dude. Like they're getting all of them. The hell is this PC engine LCD? I might have to buy that. Hell no. It's too expensive. But here's the thing. If you get, if you get the Japanese version, like this is, this one's only sold in Japan from what I understand. Um, if you're going to get this bish, this is just like the original PC engine um, where the controllers were not released with the turbo sliders. So if you get the Japanese version, the one that's exclusive to Japan, the PC engine mini, the controller that it comes with does not have turbo. Keep that in mind. So all these systems, the PC engine, the, co the core graphics and the turbo graphics, 
They all, for the most part, have the same games. There's like a couple variants with the Japanese version. Um, from what I understand, I don't remember everything, but there's a couple variants. What the hell is this? Why does this picture down here show shirts? Um, there's a couple little variants with the games, but yeah, the PC Engine one's not coming with the Turbo. The Core Graphics, the Turbo Graphics, you got Turbo in those controllers. But why? Why is this uh, configuration? I don't understand what this is. You can get a shirt, but like, see this little picture right here? It shows like a shirt and like a controller, but then the picture right here doesn't show anything. That's freaking nuts, man. Top loaded the best eight bit doo doo stuff that you've used is the DIY PCB swaps. I never got those. Like, I don't know if they ever sold them in the US. I know it was always like you could order it straight from them, but I never did. Um, but I would imagine that would be the best way. Um, but I, I never mess with that. I may have to, man. I may have to. What else do we got going on, guys? What else do we got going on? Imagine your mother's ass. What? I don't understand what the hell that means, but all right. Why would you want to imagine that? Is it true that it will have some games untranslated? Yes, it will. No matter what region you get. Shocked that the... The, the, because they, they planned this, like I've been saying, like, I think I can't, I, I think I, I think I closed the tab. Um, the little change.org petition had nothing to do with, with, uh, analog releasing these. They just played along with it. Um, but that's it. Travis Stamper. All right. You're out of here. Appreciate it, man. I'm going to be getting out of here in a moment too. Power gloves. Pixels is a GC loader worth it. In my opinion, it is. It is. Um, if you just want to load games through SD, have audio streaming, all that good stuff. Um, I mean, if you have a game collection of discs and you don't have a desire of playing any other games, then I would say no. But if you're fine with like, you don't care about discs, like I don't care about discs too much, um, which is why like my Dreamcast, when I got a GDMU, I sold my games. Um, same thing with the Saturn, which we we're talking about Saturn earlier, my GameCube, as soon as I got a GC loader, boom, sold my games. Um, so that's, that's the way I'm about it. I don't really care about discs. The only thing I didn't, um, was the, uh, the PlayStation, um, the PSIO. I didn't really care about the PSIO. So I got rid of it and I still have PlayStation one games. Uh, Gooey C, what do you think about Mr. FPGA? I have a whole playlist on Mr. I think Mr. is amazing. Um, really good stuff. DuckTales Remastered Returns. Yes, they put that back up on stores. What's going on over here? <clears throat> they got some splaining to do. Hmm. <clears throat> We got some some retweets and whatnot on that uh, poly mega, poly mega action. <laughs> Is there a lot of time between GDMU pre-orders? Um, I've had mine for a while. I don't know. I don't follow those guys, so I have no idea what's going on. Still have a funny feeling. Classic modern gaming. I believe so as well. That they're gonna they're gonna release a lower cost uh, HD NES. DuckTales is back. It is. Well, guys, um, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's just like, hey, let's just chat it up. This is pretty cool. Um, had some fun chatting with you guys. We haven't really done this. Most of the time, we just play a game, and I'll chat with you guys here and there. Um, but this one was a little different. Like, hey, just venting on stuff, talking about stuff, explaining the things that I, I, I understand um, as far as analog goes and the little... Uh, outcrying of the little charges that people are getting um, as far as international transaction fees. We touched on all that. Polymega was brought up. Pretty crazy shit. Abandoned their trademark. So what's going on with that? Who knows? But a lot of fun. We'll have to do some more stuff like this. Uh, just chats, hanging out whenever I can. You guys will see me. So thank you. 
Really do appreciate you guys. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye bye. I don't have uh, my stream deck set up to stop the stream. So I have to pull up OBS. Peace out. Bye bye. And boom. Bye. Thumb butt. Big ass thumb butt. Appreciate you guys.